Assalamu alaikum, my name is Wan Abdul Muiz. Today I will tell you about forward vertical strategy. Forward vertical strategy is a form of vertical integration where the companies control their activity of company and be independent in its supply chain's value when come in products in there. For example, a raw material like glass land can produce another different product such as lens for binocular, camera lens, telescope lens, microscope lens and magnifying lens. Okay, next uh, we will tell you how the flow processing of the product. The flow processing of product we have three steps which is for the first one is a uh, input, second one is a process and the uh, last one is the output. Okay, for the input, we receive raw material glass land from the previous factory. Next, we go into the second step, which is uh, process. After we receive uh, glass land from the previous factory, we seal off the product and produce the product as an order, and then we arrange the product and seal and get ready to send to our distributor or customer okay for the last step for uh, flow process of product after the product finish from the sale uh, the product is ready to uh, send to the distributor and product will arrive uh, to a retailer and customer that's all from me thank you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Mahfidawas bin Muhammad Bakri So today I would like to share some information about backward process in glass manufacturing uh, Actually there are six processes that involve So the first process is a uh, melting process There are three main materials uh, include which are silica sand, silica sand uh, sodium oxide and the last one is uh, dolomite these three raw material will mix up together and then will be heated so move to another process which is a float bus the molten material from the furnace will flow into uh, the float bus that consists a uh, mirror like surface that made from uh, molten tin so another reason for this process is to reduce the temperature of the molten material so at the end of the process uh, it will become a solid ribbon glass so a solid ribbon glass will undergo uh, coating process so after that uh, we move to another process which is annealing this process is to uh, eliminate all the stress uh, inside uh, the glass this process is being done layer by layer so another reason for this process is to to make it easier to cut and to shape it accordingly so after this process finish we move to the next process which is uh, inspecting process this is QC process which is a uh, quality control process in order to determine either uh, the glass is ready to move to the next process or no so we move to last process which is a cutting process this process use a uh, diamond steel to cut and trim the glass uh, accordingly to the buyers then after that after the cutting process finish the final product will will move out to buyers that's all from me thank you Assalamualaikum my name is Siti Karja Binti Ismail and I'm going to talk about e-business application that can enhance the distribution network first of all e-business is another term of e-commerce which a company that does all or most of its transactions through the internet there are five components of e-business which are e-procurement online stores online marketplace online communities and online companies so in the report we focus on online stores online marketplace and online communities only because those are the common platform to facilitate customers to get the lens. Um, first, online stores, that are also known as e-shop, internet shop, web store, and etc. The common online stores now is Shopee, Lazada, and there are lots more that we did not, didn't know yet. Second, online marketplace. It is an electronic commerce. The operator of an online marketplace only presents the inventory of other people and provides the transaction facility such as Amazon, eBay and Credit. Uh, and the last is online communities. 
uh, it is the groups of people having the same interests or purposes who use the internet to communicate with each other such as Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and etc. From those platforms, we can utilize it wisely to do an online business as well as communicate with each other. That's all from me. Thank you.